microorganism friend and foe microbes as friends now let us all question ourselves about the different types of organisms present on the earth the common answer we all get is that there are two types of organisms namely plants and the animals however apart from plants and animals there are some small organisms which we cannot find with our naked eye and we call them microorganisms we can see these organisms with the help of microscope there are different types of microorganisms namely virus bacteria fungi algae and protozoa mostly people think that microorganisms are dangerous as they cause many diseases in humans plants and other animals now let us discuss the various types of microbial diseases Bacteria causes various diseases like cholera, typhoid, tuberculosis, tetanus, etc. And virus causes diseases like polio, cold, mumps, rubella, etc. Malaria, amoebic dysentery fall under the category of diseases caused by protozoan parasites. Microbial infections occur in different ways. They may occur through air, water, insect bite, etc. The microbial diseases which spread through inhalation of contaminated air are called as airborne diseases. And tuberculosis, cold, mumps are examples of some airborne diseases. the microbial diseases which spread through intake of contaminated water are called as water borne diseases and diseases like cholera typhoid polio are some of the water borne diseases diseases like malaria filarial and dengue spreads through mosquito bite as we all know that a coin has two sides the head and the tail in the same way microorganisms also play two roles as the friend and the foe apart from causing diseases microorganisms also help us in many ways in our day to day life hence they are also called as friends microorganisms are also called as microbes The simplest example to illustrate the advantage of microbes is curd as it is produced by the microbial action of bacteria named lactobacilli in milk In the further modules let us learn about the various advantages of microbes